Hi guys, so today I thought it would be an awesome idea to talk about something I know most people or a lot of girls when they come to YouTube they are interested in, which is how to grow your hair longer and in a relatively exceptional time frame. Obviously I've posted it as my um, image, a before and after of what my hair looks like now, which will be a picture of me today and a picture of me about a year ago. Probably not from today, but that was also but the picture I will have will be from August. So as you can see, back a year ago, my hair was about here straightened. It was only to my chin. It is now down here. So I don't know how many inches that is. Four or five? I don't know. Uh, I've never taken a ruler to my hair. But this grew in a year. And I figured I would share my tips and what I've been doing this year um, to maybe help you guys along. So my first tip is, and everybody gives it, everybody gives it, but it's because it's it works, is not to wash your hair every day. I know that sounds disgusting because I didn't want to do it when I started growing my hair out again. I was like, I'm going to wash my hair every day because that's disgusting because my hair would get really greasy if I tried to not wash my hair I would get it wet and it would just get I'd wake up and it would just be disgusting and oily and I didn't understand why and then I thought well maybe because the water is mixing with the natural oils so I would buy a shower cap which has worked that is what has helped this along and I have one like this that's reusable it's so granny and lame but does the job. I picked this up from Walmart for a couple bucks and you can just wear it. So that way also that it helps you in life anyway because if you've straightened your hair and then you just go to sleep, your hair's fine and it's good to go for, for days. Your hair will look fine for days. So I started to train my hair to how long it'll go because originally when I started out I could only go about not washing it every other day because it would still get gross. And then I've slowly built up to now I can go about three to four days without washing. Four is pushing it though. I think three is my limit. Four, it starts getting a little nasty and I usually pull it, pull it back off my face because it's just gross. But if you are trying to train your hair as well, I found that a dry shampoo works really well. Like I use the Batiste, which I know so many people on YouTube recommend, but it's great. And this is in the wild cherry smell and it's delicious. Yeah, it smells really good. So, bas so basically, if you want to kind of extend the life of your hair in general, but especially if you're trying to go between washes, spray this on your roots. I'm not gonna do it, but if you spray this on your roots, rub it in aggressively, it'll pull the oils out of, my, out of your hair. Like, I like it, my sister even tried it because she, her hair was just feeling gross and I told, you know, we were gonna go do something and she was gonna get sweaty anyway, so I told her, don't take it, you know, don't bother taking a shower. But she said her hair, her head was really itchy because it was so greasy. I sprayed this on it, rubbed it in, oils went away, she felt great afterwards. So this is just good in general. You want a little lift, it also gives you a little volume because you've rubbed at your hair. But I recommend a dry, any dry shampoo, I'm sure is fine, but this is my favorite. I got it from Ulta. I don't remember how much it was because I got it a few months, I got it a while ago. And I got a combo pack, but I usually see these on sale anyway. But yeah, any dry shampoo, just just get a dry shampoo or make your own. I know that's on that's on Pinterest. I've been on Pinterest enough to see that that's a make your own type thing. But yeah, so definitely don't wash your hair every day because I know that is what's been helping. Second one is the kind of shampoos and stuff I put in my hair. And I'm not going to tell you go all natural, sulfate free, because I don't. I don't, I can't be one of those YouTubers that says they go sulfate free or people that do. But I am going to recommend a shampoo and conditioner duo that a lot of people use to grow out their hair, which is mane and tail. Now everybody seems to use mane and tail. It's tech, it was originally for like horses, but now everybody uses it. You can use it on your horses, your dogs, your cat, you. Like I said, my favorite review on Walmart of this product is I use this on myself, my cat, my horse and my dog and all of us look great. 
but it's really nice. Um, it's supposed to help kind of, it says an exclusive original formula containing high lathering cleansing agents fortified with moisturizers and demolients. Our micro enriched protein formula provides down to the skin cleansing action and conditioning, leaving the hair soft and shiny. So basically because it was needed for horses, horses is main tail, anybody that's been around horses, like I have knows that their hair is very coarse on their tail and their mane. And they need a lot of care, otherwise it's just going to get matted and gross. So, and it adds to the protein, so it helps it grow. That's what's supposed to help it grow, is ultimately the proteins that are in mane and tail. Because your hair needs food, you know, it needs nourishment. It's like our body, we need protein to grow our hair and our nails and all that, and just to function. So this has a high amount of protein. So I use these two, not so much together now, because... When I notice my hair is getting especially kind of built up from the mane and tail and other stuff I'm using, I do use one of the like daily clarifying and I use the suave because it's cheap and I've used it before and I know it works. But that's when I tend to use the mane and tail conditioner with it because this just gets it all clean and that keeps my ends, you know, nice and refreshed. Because when I do use the shampoo mane and tail, I tend to use a deep conditioner. And at this point, I've been using the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 for damaged hair. It's supposed to fix years of damage in one use. Not necessarily the case. I can tell you that's not the case at all. But it works really well. It makes your hair very soft. You just, what I do, I put it in after I shampoo. And then I go wash my face and just keep my hair back on my back so that way it doesn't get wet. Let it soak in after I'm done washing my face. Rinse it out and you're good to go. Um, but I highly recommend it. Any probably deep conditioner would work well, but that's just the one I use, and it's relatively cheap. I don't, I'm not about this dropping 50 bucks on shampoo and deep conditioners. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. I also, I'm not going to give the advice, don't use heat, because that would make me a horrible, horrible liar, because I use heat all the time. They recommend it because, you know, your hair gets damaged. But when you do use heat, make sure you use a heat protectant, or like I do, I use an oil. So right now I'm using this argon oil, and I tend to apply this when I'm blow drying my hair at the ends and stuff, because once it's blow dried, my hair is very soft, and then I can go in and straighten it either that night, which sometimes I do if I know I'm going to be lazy the next morning, or the next morning when I straighten it, it makes it a little tamer too. So I, by no means am I going to tell you don't use heat. Is it probably not the best thing to do? No, it's probably not because it's hot air and pressure on your sensitive hair follicles. I know it's not good, but I'm going to tell you something. My natural hair, like this is nice. My natural hair color, not color, well my natural hair color is brown, but that's not the point. It's not what I'm trying to discuss. Um, It's very, it's wavy, it's extremely wavy, almost curly. So it's just, it, it looks wild all the time. So I tend to blow dry it. Or straighten it just to make sure it looks a little little tamer. I guess my last step is, since I mentioned about hair dye, my last tip is if you are dyeing your hair, use one that's probably less harsh in chemicals. Like I don't have the box with me, but I use the one of the Garnier ones for my red hair, and it has like natural oils in it, like the conditioner has avocado oil. So any kind of damage it's probably doing is lessened by these oils that are supposed to keep your hair healthy and, I'll, and every time I use that hair dye that is the softest my hair will feel for the month because I dye my hair once a month so for that month I'm like this is the softest my hair is going to be for like three days out of the month but yeah I think those are all my tips um I'd say my because my hair does naturally grow fast but I'd say this is a very quick in a year's time, it's reasonable. I wouldn't say it's overly fast, but I would say it is very reasonable. And I'm not doing all these fancy things to it. So I'm kind of trying to show that you don't have to do all this fancy, don't go without heat, you know, go without heat for a year, drop 50 bucks on a deep conditioner, you know, all that jazz. So, you know, I figured I would show one that somebody that doesn't listen to those rules of how to keep your hair healthy and happy because I'm really vain and keeping my hair happy and healthy doesn't keep me happy. Um, but yeah, so 
I'm hoping maybe in a year's time I can do another check-in because I'm hoping then it will be obviously down lower on my body because I've always I've always wanted long hair and then I cut it off when I went to college because it was going to be easier to take care of and then I realized after having short hair for a year I was like nope nope I want to do things to it and not just run a straightener through it or let it sit I want to do things to it so yeah so that is my hair journey if you have any other questions please leave them below you know like subscribe if you enjoyed this content and would like to see other delightful things by me and I will talk to you later bye